There we go. That's a myrmidon. Looks almost like a snake or something. I've never filleted a fish with a pair of scissors before. Good morning, guys. That was a comfy night. Uh, we're going to fish for uh, walleye and burbot today off a boat. Uh, and then last night, caught a burbot off of shore. Check him out. That is such a bizarre fish. Wow. Right down here, we're camped uh, literally right at the river. I don't know if you guys can see out there, it's a little foggy. I gotta, I gotta air out the van a bit. I'm just still tired. So yeah, we're gonna go out and catch some burbots, some walleye. We already, we already did that, but we'll do it again. <laughs> That's true, let me show you guys. Last night, remember I said that I caught that burbot last night? Uh, that was literally just right down there. Unbelievable. So we're gonna take out the boat. We gotta meet up with Andrew. It sounds like he's already on his way. So uh, we're gonna hop in the van and we'll see you guys at the boat launch. All right guys, it's about to get wild. We're getting on the boat. Water's like a mirror out here. Check it out. One thing I'm amazed about, guys, is how many turkeys are out here. There's hundreds of turkeys everywhere. They're like pigeons. Um, so, just waiting for turkeys to be on the beach here. I don't know if they attack sometimes. I think they do. What's Should've up? Should have said 6.30, huh? Should have said 6.30. Hey, man, I was, I was ready, like, at 5.30. I'm kidding. No, I was sleeping at 5.30. Any uh, fish to show off? Yeah, there's some walleye. Um, there, oh, some walleye. Okay. Yeah. How pretty, sturdy is this? Can you step on that? Yeah, it's pretty Does anyone want a banana? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Little chunk of worm on it. Oh, there's a little hole in there. Oh, wow, so this, oh, wow, that's crazy. Guys, I gotta show you this here. This is something else. So they're dropping their lines. I just wanted to show you real quick what's happening. This here is a jig head. I think it's a three quarter ounce. And um, we've got a little uh, worm tip there, but then this is a little crawdad that has a hollow cavity with a cotton ball. And that's meant to squirt some, some shrimp oil on there. Sounds like the burbot like that. And we're dropping. Had a bite. Oh. <laughs> nice. Feels like a burbot. Oh, there he is. There you go. Nice. First burbot in the boat. All right. So the key to burbot fishing, it seems, is drop your uh, your weighted baits down to the bottom. And from what Andrew was explaining is you just bounce them off the bottom, give them a couple whacks on the bottom and then bring it up maybe a foot or two. So don't drag the bottom because uh, there's a lot of structure down there, a lot of rocks. And that's the reason that we're fishing around the rocks down there is because that's where the burbot like to hang out. So bounce, bounce, pull up, bounce, bounce, pull up and just repeat that and wait for them to whack into your bait. Like this, so you lift up, bounce, bounce, lift, sit. Got it. Oh, that's a fish. Burbot on, baby. <laughs> Ooh, it's fighting good. Better than last night, that's for sure. There he is. Oh, he's spinning right up. We got a spinner. And in the net. Nice. Oh, 
Yeah. All right, let's get him out so we can get those lines back down. Yeah, that's a slight improvement over last night. Yeah. I thought I got snagged on the bottom first. That's a hard, uh, oh, they like they just hard hit. They smack it. Heck yeah. Look at that, guys. He just couldn't resist that little crawdad with an earthworm and shrimp juice. Such a cool looking dinosaur fish. Yeah, he, he <laughs> choked that thing down, man. It's like, it's like completely it's, gone. <laughs> it's gone. So check it out, guys. This right here, I think that's called uh, a barbel if I'm not mistaken, but uh, that right there identifies it uh, as being part of the cod family. I believe it is the only freshwater uh, cod in the world. They're very slimy fish. They are. After those burbot, we ended up catching a bunch of walleye, which was uh, last week's episode. And then we did some underwater filming, which included a walleye bite, as well as this awesome burbot just cruising along the bottom in the evening. There we go, bird. He's a burb. That's a burb. It's the burb. It's the burb. It's all about the latte. You weren't lying. Oh, that's true. You weren't lying. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a giant. That's a good looking burb. That's Dang. A good burb. That's a good burb. Ten more to go. Sweet. Come on, burbits, it's dark. There we go. That's a burbit on. Got you. Felt him slam it. He's making a run. Ooh. Oh. He ain't gonna defeat 30 pound braid. No, he's not defeating 30 pound braid. I just hope that that hook, because that hook bent open and I bent it back. So I just hope that the hook's not sitting at a weird angle. So I don't want to put too much pressure on him. Is he a good size? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Hey, that was uh, in my <laughs> book a perfect net shot. It wouldn't be fun if it worked the first time around, right? <laughs> I was just trying to get your heart racing. Oh, yeah, and you, you did, but that's okay. Wow. Oh, barely hooked, too. Wow, look at that fish, guys. Look at that burbot. It looks almost like a snake or something. And check out in their mouth, they've got uh, crushing pads more, kind of like a catfish. I mean, it, literally exactly like a catfish. No big teeth, just these pads with a bunch of little hundreds, I mean thousands of little teeth on the top and the bottom. Did you record that? What was that? Did you record that? Yeah. I think, nice. I, I think so. I hope Heck yeah. fully did. Yep, we're rolling. <laughs> Oh, that's YouTube fears right now when you don't know if your camera was rolling when you just caught like one of the coolest fish of your life. Okay, I was gonna cook the bourbon at home, but it's just every mile I drive on this trip, it's just it gets more and more beautiful. So I've completely fallen in love with this area of the state. Uh, and I just want to spend one last moment out here in Eastern Washington. And I figured why not do it with you guys. So we're gonna cook the fish here. Uh, got the van parked right by the water. It's beautiful here, absolutely beautiful. It's really windy, so I apologize if the audio is at all bad. Uh, I waited for like a little break where there was no wind to film this. I'm actually hiding us behind the van just so that the audio is not absolutely horrible uh, when we cook this fish. There we go. Oh no! Well, oh. great. See, told you guys the wind is strong. All right guys, so I realized I forgot my fillet knife in uh, Andrew's boat. <laughs> so I checked my whole van, I don't have another knife. So we're gonna use scissors here to uh, skin and uh, kind of do a semi fillet job on this fish. So what we're just gonna start with is, I believe on a burbot, I've never done this before, so this is my very first time, bear with me here. Uh, we're just gonna score the skin. 
and then see if there's any way that we can just peel the skin off first. Oh wow, that's going really easy, guys. Wow, look at that. Just peels right off. The whole skin came off all in one. That's fantastic. So what we're just gonna try and do here, and I don't know if this is gonna work. I've never filleted a fish with a pair of scissors before, so let's go ahead and see if we can get it all at cut started here. You know, I think this will work, guys. I'm not that worried about it. Oh wow, a lot of meat on this. All right, so what we got off of this guy here is essentially just one of his sides and all of his belly meat. We're going to throw in just a little bit of garlic infused olive oil. Wow, geez, poor tortillas. We've got to throw all the little pieces of plastic in our pockets so we don't accidentally litter here with this wind. We're going to throw just a little bit of fish fry into the bag. That's just the tortilla bag. All right, throw in the bellies. The other slabs, a little bit more fish fry. Of course, a little bit of my uh, Danish sea salt here. And just a little grind of pepper. I want to keep it uh, as little seasonings as possible just so we can taste the fish. Because I've never tasted bourbon. I'm so excited. Supposedly, it's one of the best tasting fish in the world. It's called poor man's lobster by a lot of people, too. So, to make it a little easier to shake this in there, what I like to do is Inflate the bag real good so you can get a good old shaking party going in there. Alright, we'll start here with the uh, thick pieces. Before we get too fancy with this, I just want to try a little piece. We're gonna, how about, let's grab this belly right here. And just eat some like that. It's funny, the belly does almost taste a little bit like lobster in terms of texture. That's really good. All right, sorry guys, I just uh, made this wrap but then realized that my camera was completely out of focus. All I did was throw on the burbot there, had that little snack. We got some tartar sauce on there, a little bit of the lettuce. We got our burbot. Let's go ahead and just roll this up. this food and not being able to actually share it with you guys you know like I wish that I could make the second one for all of you kind of like Pacific cod it's also a fish that itself almost is a little buttery um, so it's man this is really good I'm, I'm just gonna dedicate this year to really going out and exploring the Pacific Northwest meeting new people fishing for new species of course having you guys along uh, thank you guys so much for all the support the, the love uh, it means so much to me to be able to to share all of this with you. The wind's just howling, so I hope the audio is not just terrible. Uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, remember, like, comment, subscribe, and then, of course, we'll see you guys next week for the next fishing adventure. Who knows where we'll be? Uh, and until then, you guys know it. Fish on.